Why is always Coke residue all over my fucking glass? What does Matto have in common with South American drug lords? The Coke residue viper love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Achoo. Hello and welcome to what is hopefully my final attempt at completing GT5 without taking any damage. I have a max HP of 1, so any damage from any source will immediately kill me. I also want this to be a no hit run, so Trevor's special ability is disabled, because while you take no damage while using it, you do still get hit by stuff. My current PB for the entire run is 1. Literally 1 bit of damage. So, for me to ever PB again, it would have to be a perfect run, which is why I'm hopeful this will be my last run. I've obviously completed every single mission at this point without taking damage, I just haven't done it all in one go. There's always new strats, I'm always making things better. I'm confident soon, hopefully this run, that I'll finally get a complete no damage run. Should be easy, just don't get hit. Exactly. It's a simple thing. Easy. So as always, Michael and Brad, my human shields, I pick off everyone while they're in cars so they can't shoot me. And I try not to have the cars block my path. Or my line of sight, rather. He didn't die. It's not good. There he is. I don't have a lot of stamina. You do have quite a bit, though. Okay. It's almost like I've done it before, right? I have made that joke at least a hundred times now. It's almost like I've done it before. <laughs> so going across the snow here to, you know, beat the train and not get shot by those cops over there. Because if you don't beat the train, you can't succeed. Oh no, I didn't beat the train. I am done for. I can't possibly succeed. <laughs> oh well guys, I'll continue anyway, okay? Why are all emotes dogs? They're not. And that's the problem. Here's what I'm saying, chat. I should buy Twitch from Amazon. They could probably give me a, a decent deal, like maybe five bucks. It's probably what it's worth, right? And then I'll force all the content creators to only have doggos for emotes. I see this as a foolproof plan and will guarantee Twitch's profitability into the future. It is only through this platform's commitment to cute doggos that it could survive. Okay, so we grab the gun here, don't get shot, shoot this guy here in the face, then we shoot the shins. Where is he? What? I guess Lamar already killed a guy? Oh no, yeah, there, there, there he is. Appreciate it, pimp. Shins, thank you. Blow out this. Open this. Wait for Lamar to uh, take out this guy. Uh, uh, wait. There we go. Uh, I will miss these shits this year, right? Yeah, yeah, through here. Uh, he's coming, he's coming. Ah, uh, missed him. Okay. That's unfortunate. Really doesn't matter, but looks far more impressive when I get the shot. <laughs> so Lamar will eventually kill these guys. Oh, oh they'll cross over. They're hard shots, okay, chat. Like, it, it may- I don't know how hard it looks, but trust me, you don't know when they're coming, and it's always a surprise when they move, and you just start shooting, and you don't aim. It's fine. I got through. I didn't fail. Dude, don't even like Milk Blast. I mean, milk isn't that good. It's kind of weird when you think about it. I'm definitely not a big milk guy. You're looking forward to quality entertainment? Then why are you here? Just to suffer. Ah, <laughs> uh, my content's bad. That's why I'm here. Will I do the complications jump? You know what? Yes. I will lie to you about my doing the complications jump. You have my word. You have that guarantee. Did I figure out a name for my that I want for the podcast? It's probably going to be person who I've I've invited on rambles with Dark Fiber AU. Kind of dull. What, what do you want from a name of a podcast, man? Do you, like, a, a name's meant to be that amazing? Are, are you meant to read it in jizz or something? Like, 
This name is so good! Uh... Simeon, don't kill my run. Please. It just begun. I'm enjoying it. I want to keep going. Don't be a dick. Good boy. He didn't even move his hands. He was just that generous. Wasn't a fight to see who was first. He didn't even try. My favorite kind of NPC. Like, as long as the podcast is better than nothing to listen to, dead air, then there'll be some people who will watch it. Call the podcast better than dead air. True. True. The problem with a podcast that is, uh... Um, I have never been this stuck before. Okay. I can honestly say, I've never seen that before. Okay. As per usual, grabbing myself an Uzi to deal with the guys on the jet skis as easily as possible. I am getting a bunch of stuff on my weapon to increase the likelihood that my weapon blocks a bullet. And I, uh, I'm getting a suppressor for my pistol to help me with the setup for the Jewel Star Heist later. As a person who just likes making videos, uh, I'll make a video on fucking anything. I sincerely wanted to make a video where I smashed a toaster with a sledgehammer. But I don't have a sledgehammer, I need my toaster, and I have no one to record it. Now they say random doesn't equal funny, that's true, but- This is the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> okay, let us see if this is where it ends. Just good shooting and we'll be fine. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, God, that was not very good. That was really slow. But, uh, I got it, so that's okay. The combination of that delay, the bumping of the waves and stuff, it's, uh, it's, it's harder than it looks, okay, but that was alright. So I'm doing the smart setup, as I have been for the last couple of runs, because you can do it without getting the cops on you, and it is far safer than doing carbine rifles. As I've said before, I was very dumb for not figuring the smart out to begin with. All those runs that I did with carbine rifles, foolishness. So, we stealth. I wonder how long it would take for them to detect the body, or if they would ever detect it. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Need a car. So, the history of the Rambles, okay? So, the first episodes of Speedrunner Rambles, when I was going... What? Ah, uh, there is no reason I should have the cops right now. There were no cops around. Well, this is, uh, garbage. It's not a huge deal. One star, I'll be able to avoid it, but, yeah. It's a waste of my time! So I just need to not shoot... Get out of here. I just need to not shoot this guy um, until the blue dot appears. Okay. I don't know where that first bullet went. I'm always concerned these cars are just going to run up and hit me here, but they, they never seem to. Okay. Oh, hey Wi-Fi. Thank you for the raid, dude. Hopefully your viewers aren't going to arrive just as I'm about to fail here. Uh, but, okay, well, like... I mean, like, fail in general, not hit that wall, because hitting the wall was kind of embarrassing, but... <laughs> now we'll why we're here. Um, okay. Frank, you're with me. Whenever I stand up here, I always try to go for taking a picture, because that's what I'm used to from Case in the Jewel Store. But obviously I have to throw it, you know. So unlike in the speedrun, I am taking uh, all the money here because I need it to buy myself a car and gear and whatnot throughout the run. This of course gives more money to both Michael and Franklin. So I have this small little rat here at the beginning to avoid the cops, but it is not perfect. I have to cross the street. and Unfortunately, there is a small chance that I get shot while crossing the street. So to make it more secure, I use something called the alt strat. The alt strat is when I hold down the character swap button and it makes the game worse at loading in assets. Uh, especially in areas where there's a lot of stuff around. So this makes it so guns don't necessarily load in and bullets don't necessarily load in. It's not a perfect strategy because sometimes they will still load in and I will get shot, but it does make things more secure because there's a lower chance. So it's not a perfect strategy, but it does make me more secure. The downside, of course, is that things move very slow. It's a lot harder to drive. Uh, I can't shoot myself. 
I can't move my camera, and I can still die to melee hits. So just a, in a variety of different spots in the run, uh, I use it, but I can't use it everywhere. I hate this black car, dude. Okay, the guard is in his normal spot. I'm taking the speed run route, which is, I'm just staying within the range of uh, the guys underground, even though I'm not going underground myself. Uh, this route seems better than the uh, route you're meant to do casually, because it despawns some cops at the end. So three guys spawn here, but I only have time to shoot one. So I shoot one with Franklin's power, and then I switch to alt strat, so they don't shoot me. You can't see them, but they're basically directly behind me right now. That did not look very nice. Now that I've become Michael here, I'm switching to first person and ducking. First person ducking has an interesting effect where it makes you merge into your seats, uh, which makes it so there's less of you to be shot. Uh, normal ducking doesn't do this. Uh, but even with merging into my seat like this, there is still a tiny chance that I get shot here. So I'm still going to use alt strat to make that even, even less of a chance. Because why take the risk, right? To become active so that they shoot, or... I, I, like I oh! Stop pointing your guns at me, it makes me nervous. Assholes. Easy. Okay. Let's do this. So normally in the speed run, I'd be doing long stretch now, but rather than do it now, I'm going to do it a lot, lot later so that Franklin can have a lot more weapons unlocked because if he has more weapons, it becomes far, far, far easier. So instead, I'm just going to skip the mission and go to do Mr. Phillips, which is Trevor's first mission. So I am going to get myself a sniper rifle from the map to use on this mission. I'll be picking it up twice so I can have 20 bullets with it. What are my keybinds? Uh, so to fire a gun, write this down, uh, I click a mouse button. And that's it. That's my secret weapon, guys. Yoink. I like how many people casually actually bothered to get weapons from the map. I have always wondered if these weapons were placed when the game was fundamentally different. Because it just doesn't seem like a normal casual person would be grabbing these weapons from the map. I think in the other GTAs, they're more useful because you lose all your weapons when you die and stuff. And some of the weapons you can get from the map are not, um, uh, like, the, you, you can't get them otherwise. So rather than aggroing all the enemies here, I'm going to be driving down here and parking my car next to this pole. So in this game, to get particular camera angles in first person, the game distorts your body. So if you have a sniper rifle out like this and you go into stealth mode, it looks like I can't see over the top. But if I aim down the side, uh, my sniper rifle basically goes above my head to shoot. So I'm basically perfectly in cover here, but uh, I can actually shoot over. Another thing I'm going to be doing, though, is a thing called a buffered ledge grab. So I'm going to go aggro these guys. It's going to warp me back and I'm going to shoot them as they run towards me, basically. Watch the entrance, boys. No one leaves without my express permission. Ah! Are you dead yet? Where's the other guy? Okay. So we're gonna have another thing like that one time where I couldn't find the other guy and he shot me. What? Why didn't it shoot? I clicked. That was win. What? What? weird. So there's a, a biker here. I could just shoot and kill him, but I, I, like if, he, if he drives away, he just despawns. So I may as well let him drive away and despawn, you know? So this is the newest strategy that I have here. I realize rather than going up to that tree like I've been doing like an idiot for so long, I can just do the exact same thing I did over there, but over here instead. Why is this guy always so hard to hit? I think the car has a weird hitbox. Nice. 
These strats are so good. All that time I focused on getting the high ground over there was completely pointless. How many runs I lost on this mission because I was obsessed with being able to look over everything. So dumb. This mission makes me nervous. Like, the odds of me dying on this mission are lower than the next mission. But it's still, there's a chance, you know, it's, I'd say it's less than 5%. I can get clipped while I'm chucking grenades at the very beginning. Of course, being here, I need to buy myself the grenades that could potentially cause me to die. So I break the glass with my gun and hope that my grenade does not hit the glass. Back. Right, ooh. Got two for one there. That was good. But you saw those shots that went near where my hand was. Odds of them hitting me are not high, but they can hit me. You notice how the bike drives itself? To that spot? Even if you kill the guy? Using the grenade launcher here is also a lot more secure than what I was doing before, which is shooting them normally. Sometimes the guys don't like to die. That was not great shooting on that last car, but doesn't matter. For a second there, I thought I was too close, but of course, uh, you know, I'm a million miles away. That was good. And now for one of the scariest missions in the entire game, Nervous Ron. A mission that makes me nervous. <laughs> you see, that's a joke I've never made before, so. <laughs> that's mean. Oh, right, I need to get myself uh, C4. There's no reason to drive here. I need to get myself a taxi to drive here for no reason. Whatever. So these C4 are meant to help me with one van that doesn't like to explode. And even with these C4, the van still does not like to explode sometimes, but what it does, it can, ki it can kill people who uh, get out of the van. What do you want, Brad? Where can I take you? Did she say Brad? Oh my God, guys, Brad's alive. Confirms. Any series recommendations? Little series, you probably never heard of it. Uh, Pass this percent. Can you finish GTA 5 without wasting anyone? It's a good series on YouTube. Don't know who makes it, but uh, he's probably a very cool dude. <laughs> uh, Matt, I meant like good series. Come on, man. Waste my time with this bullshit. <laughs> so normal strats here. I am driving very far away from all the enemies and shooting them as they come close to me. The scary thing is if they manage to sneak around me, which can happen. See, I'm worried I'm going to be focused aim down the side and the person will come to the left there. So, when I can't see anyone, like now, uh, if, it's usually because I'm so far away that I'm not triggering a particular person to move. So I have to move forward just a little bit. He must be really stuck. Knew he was on the fucking left. And so the last guy is usually in here. There he is. Okay. So they all go there for when a van arrives that doesn't like to explode sometimes. And I explode those in the hopes of um, killing anyone who gets out of the van. Now the two guys who are the most problematic here is there's a guy who spawns behind this van. He can shoot me before I can shoot him. And there's a guy who spawns over here as well. He also can shoot me before I can shoot him. I'll be using a little bit of ult strap for the second guy, but really the first guy is the most scary. Uh oh. Please die. He didn't die. I'm dead. No! 
Ah, oh, you're kidding! You are in die. Are you fucking for real? I actually hit him, and he didn't die from the explosions. The van stood and explode. Oh, that was so brutal. I, I I got the guy on the left. He didn't die of the explosions. I got the guy on the right. Didn't die of the explosions. I hit the third guy. I clipped him, and he fell down, and he got me through the corner of the the van, in through the fire, with no vision. I'm shooting him in the back, get him a bunch, I shoot this guy, look at all those shots, look how many times he got hit, then the this van guy. explodes, and because the van explodes, I have no vision anymore, and so this guy's fallen down somewhere, he didn't die, I'm dead, and look at him, look at him, how perfectly I got fucked, on the fucking elbow. Yesterday I said to you I'd do the complication jump, I will, yes. I will lie to you and tell you that I will do the complication jump. You have my word. Hello and welcome to hopefully my last attempt at completing no GTA. No GTA, guys. It's my attempt at completing no GTA. So I'm quitting for the day, guys. Matter of fact, I'm quitting forever. This will be my no GTA run where I never play GTA, GTA again for the rest of my life. Let's go. Hello and welcome to hopefully my last attempt at completing GTA 5 without taking any damage. Why do you reset the game 10,000 times? Because 10,000 is my favorite number. I also switch my light switches off 10,000 times. I brush my teeth 10,000 times a day. I jerk off 10,000 times a day. I have a shower 10,000 times a day. Everything in 10,000s. Oh, oh wow, I'm not doing well, am I? Not getting these kills. Wow, I'm doing really terribly today. Getting no headshots. But I suppose if I start prologue playing very poorly, that just guarantees my success, right? Because I'm get, getting rid of all the bad shots now. So that I can shoot nothing but perfectly in the future. My aim is amazing. My If my aim was amazing, three guys there wouldn't have gotten out of the car. They would have had bullets in their heads. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. Psychopath. I'm a psychopath, am I? Thoughts on Winston Churchill? He still owes me 15 bucks. What a scumbag. You tell Mrs. Churchill I will be coming round to get my money if he doesn't give it to me himself. And that's just going to be awkward for everyone. Okay? <laughs> you will notice I did not... Wait, did I note an amount of money? Look, no one give me $15. Um... With Winston Churchill's name. Everyone always does that. <laughs> I'm not intentionally farming for donos. Hey, you know, uh, this guy, uh, Ninja Man, he owes me 10 grand, so... <laughs> <You know. laughs> I'm not, I'm, I, I promise you guys, I promise you that I'm gonna lie and tell you I would do the complica com complications jump. I'm gonna do the complications jump, guys. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Like, people do know that you always take damage during the complications jump, right? It is literally not possible to do without taking damage. I cannot do it and succeed. I am the Dark Weaver, yes? Dark Weaver. Simeon, are you going to be a dick today? Please, no. Oh, you went for the swing there. Too late, Simeon. Should have acted sooner. My foot beats your rock. Which is true of real life. Ever have a person verse you in um, scissors, paper, rock? Kick them in the face. Guarantee you win. Thank you, Winston Churchill, for the $15. Okay. Appreciate the support, man. I hope you're doing good wherever you are. <laughs> Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. There's a small delay before I can actually shoot, and it throws me off every time. Yes, I was- that was frame-perfect shooting. I could not have shot them earlier than I did. That was amazing. Can we just, like, for the next five minutes, just all focus on how good I was right then and there? And remember this moment when I fuck up next? <laughs> uh, my gun doesn't have a silence on it. 
Improvise. I forgot to buy the silencer. I have literally never meleeed him before. You know, these are the th kind of things you can do after playing the game for 8,000 hours. <laughs> I'm not overly concerned about this heist anymore just because of the liberal use of uh, old strat. Using it basically means that while this mission is still annoying because of how much ult I use, it's it doesn't seem particularly risky anymore. Why do okay? Well, I know why I do this. It's because normally I'm just driving to the uh, jewel store at this point. But of course, because it's the stealth option, I have to go up uh, up on the roof. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. Hey, the car's this bit. Magic. Yeet. Oh. He he shot his gun after I shot him in the face. You see that? I guess that was because I missed the first shot. He wasn't even looking in my direction. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, I hope you still like me calling you Biard. I think when I called you Biard last time, you didn't like it. I'm sorry. I'm doing, doing that badly. Um, is it just bad? You say good job. Are you saying good job to me completing this or good job? I said your name correctly. <laughs> so I'm Mr. Phillips here. I need a sniper rifle. Well, I suppose I don't need it, but it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to grab one from the map. When am I going to die? Never. I am immortal. I will live forever. Whenever you're ready. I am ready. Yoink. Why is there a sniper? Uh... A hobo was fighting a kangaroo specifically here in the kangaroo one and the kangaroo realized it couldn't click the trigger So it was annoyed and just ditched the sniper rifle. That's you've got to know the law of GTA 5 uh, To know these kind of things. Uh, you got to know these things when you're a speedrunner content creator, you know uh, You might ask how the kangaroo get here. I guess it was the weather <laughs> I'm gonna aggro the enemies and then buffered ledge grab my way back here. To outdistance them and then shoot them as they come to me. Watch the entrance, boys. No one leaves without my express permission. No one go out, out of here. Stay away from me. Hey, hey. The here. So rather than doing all the stupid strats that I was doing previously, going up to those trees and stuff, it turns out to be a lot safer and smarter to do the exact same thing I just did then, but over here as well. Uh, the bush is a little bit more way, but it should be fine. Beautiful. Easy. These strats are so much better than the old strats. Do I have any hobbies? No. <laughs> None, man. Nothing. Nothing that I can do that I'm doing is ever considered to be a hobby. <laughs> Why can't you skip forward in the video? Because every single nanosecond of my content is precious. Whatever platform you're on just disables that function because they assume you could never have any possible reason to use it. So I sh immediately shoot the glass here and then switch to grenades. Good. So there's bullets that flew near my head, you know, they can hit me. I can't believe I missed that shot. Easy. Scary. But not too difficult. I kind of want Chef to sound like Gordon Ramsay. And just be like, you fucking donkey! 
or some shit, you know. They're here, Trevor. Where's the lamb sauce? I wonder if to some people it looks impressive when I get snipe rifles and C4 and stuff. They're like, wow, this guy knows so much about the game that he knows the locations of all the items on the map. Wow. <laughs> In reality, I know the location of like two. <laughs> Just the ones that I need. Okay, it's more than two, but you get the idea. You want to see me succeed in your ears, Polly want that too? Okay, just like on Mr. Phillips, I will be out distancing everyone and killing them with a snap rifle. There's normally a guy on the back. I can't see him though. Come on. I'm already scared. Why is the van not spawning? There's a guy, it might be him. Okay. And so there's one more in here. You not die? He just kind of stood up weirdly. Okay. So one, two, and a half, but the half is apparently too far. So I want like here. So that's to help with a van later. The guy immediately to the right here can't shoot, so he's not a concern. That shot almost got me. I won't panic this time, even if they get out of the car. The They don't shoot immediately when they get out of the car. Good. So good C4 was unnecessary this time. That went good. The van cooperated. So there's like one guy here who's a problem. Uh, and he does violate alt strat. So the goal here is to point my tail in the direction of where he is. Uh, but he doesn't spawn in the same place every time. See, there he is with the gun. Oh, he's really close today. Oh boy. But see how the angle I have? Like, even if he fires, he can't get me. Now, the vast majority of cases, I could just take off ult now because I'm that high in the air that they shouldn't be able to get an angle to shoot me. But let's just let's just be even safer and just go a little bit longer. So we're definitely fine now. Oh, oh uh, okay, we're not. <laughs> I mean, as I say, they, they can't really get an angle. Uh, I was I was never going to get hit there, guys. The angle is just so extreme that they can't actually get the bullets in. But. So for those unaware, various missions in the game have uh, like in invisible quirks. Uh, Crystal Maze has a quirk where you, where you can't get the cops on you in the opening scene. I can abuse this to go get myself a minigun and a tank, which I'm going to be using uh, both in this mission and in future missions. You go into the store, anybody wants anything? I want a pigeon that can play the banjo and is the greatest Fortnite player of all time. If they have it, you know, sometimes out of stock. Hello, friendo. Don't think I'm going to do that, man. What was my dumbest death in Oko? All the times I jumped into walls. No, the time when I pressed spacebar and fell off the tower. Get in the door, okay. Didn't look like I grabbed the minigun, but trust me I did, it was just on the other side of the door. Why is Trevor so angry? He's uh, yelling about the, uh, the stairs. He doesn't like stairs. Take Trevor and uh, run him on some stairs. This is what he sounds like. I agree. Stairs always presenting, preventing happiness. Oh, here's one. Um, given that that car's there, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to collect it where I normally collect it. Okay. Okay. Bye, friendo. So obviously this entire thing is just trivial with this tank. Uh, the only way these guys could possibly shoot me is if I let them get so close to me that their guns would merge into my tank. Which I've only ever seen happen once. So I can tell 
when everyone's dead if Trevor stops speaking. As always, easy, and I will now be taking the tank and storing it in Trevor's airfield because it's useless to take for Friends for United. Uh, and then I'll use the tank um, in future missions. Right, no speed run strap. Do not kill myself with the speed run straps. Stealth it is. Wood. Going up there, where I climbed up, is so much better than any alternative that I was doing before. Like, it auto-climbs me for some reason. I don't even press spacebar. So the odds of me jumping and killing myself is effectively non-existent. Okay. And off we go. Energy, Matt. Hype yourself up. Drink a lot of Pepsi Max. Do I like Doritos? Yeah, man, game of fuel. What is my sister's name? Do you want to know my mother's maiden name? My address? Yeah, my phone number? What are you, what are you asking me for information, dude? What the hell? Of all Michael's missions, this one might actually be the one that I'm most concerned about here, Dead Man Walking. Just getting away from the cops at the end and having a bad helicopter spawn, you know, it can just ruin me completely. Davy, how you doing? Ow. Boop. Uh, uh, don't put that towards me. Okay. Ah, uh, don't. Okay. That was awkward. Uh, okay. Stop shooting your guns after you die, please. Please. Now for this guy. You're gonna... Okay, is he coming? <gasps> he found the door, guys! What a champion! Normally takes him an age. I'm already amazed. Okay. Come on, this guy. If you can find the door too. Oh, he's find the door. No, don't go the other way, you... What are you doing? Come on, man. Stop debating me. Thank you. Gotta take the stairs. Not stairs. This building is in this is I should just shoot one of these guys in the head without using the power, but I'm too nervous to. Because one headshot will give me like half a bar. But I can get by with what I have. So let's hope the helicopter isn't a complete dick today. I have prediction that it will be. Oh, yeah, I can get these guys. It's easy. Damn, I hope to get them both early. It's right there. You're fucking kidding me, dude. Are you for real? Why do you do this, man? Like, it's just, it's like the worst spawn ever. You may as well have just spawned it up my ass. You know how hard it is to drive? In alt strat, it's like impossible. Like I have fucking no idea how fast I'm going right now. And turning is just impossible. Turn, good, good. Turn again. Like I'm basically just going by feel. Like I'm feeling how fast I should be going, given the amount of times that I've pressed W. This alt stratting thing out of here is not what I like. I'm not even sure it's more secure. Oh my god! My god! Like, 
I'm not sure this is more secure than the running thing that I used to do. I'll be frank with you. So with this stretch here, I should be able to actually out distance the helicopter now, and I should be fine. But I'm not going to take it off until I've traveled a decent distance. Oh, and it spawns a another fucking cop car in front of me. Do you know how hard it is to drive somewhere else? I don't know how many, f how fast I'm fucking going. I don't know. I've been holding W for like ten minutes. Am I max speed? I have to go off into the side here, cause this this fucking police on the bloody bridge. I've lost the cops. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's awful. Just awful. I was really happy when I found that strat to kill those four guys when I'm in practice. But I guess the helicopter spawns after you respawn are different than when you're on your first try. And so in practice, it wasn't a good representative sample. So Three's company here is still quite concerning. Um, there is a chance that I get shot here. But it's the helicopters that are the main concern. I think the odds of me being hit here though are really tiny when I switch to Trevor. I didn't reload. Because if I delay these guys, can, but I'm only going to have four bullets. And when I'm nervous, I often need more than four bullets. I'm actually concerned here. Do I have time to reload? I'm not going to take the risk. You, I'm still going to switch. I got it in one shot. And I'm pretty sure it's so far away that they couldn't shoot me. But I don't know that for certain. Okay. That was perfect. These guys can't shoot at me, so I should be fine. At least they've never shot at me. I should, I should never say they can't do something, because it's a GTA 5. Who's, who's not dead? He not dead? Why he no die? Just die! <laughs> well, people said that I cheated in Oko. I know how I could possibly cheat in Oko. I, I make the rules. Technically, I can't cheat. <laughs> All people would say is like, I don't think it's that impressive because you did X and I'm like, oh, I, I didn't do X so fuck yourself, I don't give a shit. <laughs> if right now I wanted to give myself a five death handicap, go fuck yourself, I could do it if I wanted to. You know? You once got banned for making a joke? I sincerely doubt that, blah. That's like when a person says, I once had to go to jail because I dropped a knife. Can you believe that? And then you look into the story and, you know, they just, like, stabbed a person nine times. It's like, whoa, I, I dropped it. Like, I dropped it downwards and then picked it back up and I dropped it again and I picked it back. And they just put me in jail because I dropped the knife, man. It's just, it's just ain't right. It sounds like very dishonest framing is what I'm saying. So people have sent me messages, endless messages, about this guy. And he seems to just stream for hours and hours on end the opening screen of Player Unknown Battlegrounds. There are just some things that, while you can't determine why they're sus necessarily, or like, like... It's like if you found a person reading a book in a pool. And by that I mean they're just standing in the middle of a pool with a, with a book a above the water, and they're reading a book, and they just do that for hours. There's nothing technically wrong with that, but you'd be like, what are you doing? Like, have fun, I guess. Like, <laughs> and the same way with this, just technically, yeah, you could just stream the beginning screen of the mobile version of PUBG. I mean, there's technically nothing wrong with that, but it's just like, why? <laughs> or like when you see a person, Eating pizza backwards. You're like, what? But I, I guess you can do that. But like, but it's not, it's not what you're meant to be doing. <laughs> or eating cereal with a fork, so, showing that you have no interest in drinking the milk. You just want the milk to be in your cereal. So now with Franklin, I will be getting a bajillion weapons and upgrading my car to the fullest that I can at this point to help me with a uh, long stretch. What's the color, chat? Hot pink. Too slow, people predicted what I was gonna ask, and so answered before I even asked. If I get shot while in the car, it's gonna be because of the color. Now, are y'all gay? 
PA looking to see how long it takes to get beat up in a hick town? The rednecks arrived. We're gonna die now. Don't That's it. Die. It's fine. Oops. Whoopsie. Whoops. Yeah, hello my good friend. Have you heard of Applebee's two two for one special? Applebee's doesn't exist in my country, so I can definitively say it fucking sucks. Because all non-existent things suck. That's right. Fucking savaging non-existent things right now, chat. What are they gonna do about it? Start existing? Ha! Losers. <laughs> Don't talk about my friends this way. Ah, brutal. Self-burn. On to long stretch. Are you proud of me? I said the right name. I'm proud of me. And that's all that matters. You may notice, because I've already done assassination, technically my house has already moved, yet the cutscene here only makes sense if this is also my house. Which is why I've always found it kind of weird that you can leave it this late. Why did I do that? I guess it was the weather. Here we go. Haven't failed on this mission in a long time, but it definitely is still possible. So this first room, these two can do by themselves, but if I don't help them, it takes them a while. So I try to clip anyone in this corner. Hey, that guy. Okay. Tell me he doesn't get stuck. Oh, they got him. Nice. Good work, guys. Teamwork. Trigger these two guys and move backwards. Honestly, one of my biggest concerns is that someone will try to shoot at Stretch, miss, and hit me. Are you, are you having fun there, my dude? So trigger Lamar here so he kills this dude. You, you do it, you're fine. I believe in you. Good work, man. So I can occasionally kill- Oh, this is already open, what the hell? I think I got all four? Think so? So, this is- Oh. Oh no. Oh no. That was weird. You got them all? Okay. Oh, those bullets. Okay. So, this is the room where I, that I can't help with. I have to- Hope Lamar and Stretch can do this all themselves. Except this guy up here. Did I get him? I may have got him. They have killed no one. Hmm. I normally wait until one's alive to go in. We'll be fine. In this scene of all things, uh, of all places, old Stretch will work really well because of all the fire. Why would a mission fail count as a death? A mission fail is not a death, so why would you count something that's not a death as a death? Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Is this pineapple a death? Is mayonnaise a death? No, Patrick. None of those things are a death. Oh. <laughs> so I know I can really help here with grenades, but I just hate doing it. Three left, no, four left. That's a lot of guys still left. Ah, oh, they... Did they not get that guy? Okay, got that guy, okay, fair enough, okay, yeah. These, both these guys being this close is weird. Uh, oh, I see, they, they move up to get them eventually. This is the longest they've ever taken to kill these guys. I'm actually quite concerned, not gonna lie. I'm not liking this. And they've still got, like, the other guys that spawn. Oh my god, this is not looking good, chat. Kill him! Kill him! Thank you. He's finally moved up. So, this is the guy that if I kill early, things can be a bit weird. Can I throw far enough here? Yes, yes I can. Can I spawn this guy without going too close? Try something new.
Okay. Yeah, see, because I didn't kill him early, they don't bug. So this should still work the same way. As long as it doesn't go through, they won't spawn. Okay. Okay. And now for this little awkward interaction, killing this helicopter. Can you get him away? Get him away? Uh, they didn't go through. What? That's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. Great. It takes too long. This helicopter doesn't shoot, thankfully. Pew, 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 pew. There's some reality that flies into me, though. Okay, now that they're up here, I go get my car. Okay, AP pistol. Hey, friendos. Ah, helicopter spawn. That is bad. In fact, really, really bad. Uh, that helicopter spawn, sh well, in, in the speed run, it is impossible. Uh, unless you die. But here, I've also never seen. Oh my god, what is this flying? What am I doing? Hello? So, fun facts, you can't really control yourself uh, while using um, old strat. This is looking really bad for me right now, chat. I'm in the perfect angle for that shot to hit me. There's some really, really intensely bad RNG. Like, we will talk about this bad RNG if there are any more future runs. This is insane. Ah, uh, I'm falling into a hole. Am I? I am. He's barely missing. I, th I think the helicopter pop copter might not be on me. I love how the bush goes through the car. I'm sh okay. I've lost the cops. Okay. Okay. I wish I was in jail, with you, boy. Awful. Uh. Uh. That was really awkward. Ah! Ba -ba 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 oh, there's another helicopter. Okay. Fuck off. 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 Uh, okay, that was uh, some really strange spawns and RNG. That is the second time this run I've had to dodge the magic police shot during alt strat. It's the magic bullet. Not a fun experience. That was uncomfortable. That's what I'm trying to get at. And now for the really annoying mission, the really scary mission, Hood Safari. There is not a single frame, a single frame of Hood Safari that I enjoy in this mission. I mean, the cutscene's still good. Now, don't you step foot in this yard. Why is half my house? I'm called the police. Okay, so we're running to the left with Ols. Took a second to engage Ols there, that was concerning. So for those who don't know why this mission is scary, basically, I could be perfectly safe the entire time, but Lamar and Trevor can die. And if they die, I have to start all over again. So I have to try to help them as much as I can without putting myself in too much danger. Um, the biggest concern for me is you see on the map there's a guy moving to the left here. He's after me. It doesn't always happen, but I've never seen a guy go that far before. That was actually weird. So that guy could definitely shoot at me if I try to help. But I want to help, you know? Did that not make it to the road? Ah, oh, shit, well, that's not good. So I may have just hurt Trevor there. <clears throat> Throwing grenades is, uh, not a great move all the time. Just put myself into windowed mode. That's awkward. No! Because I accidentally put it into windowed mode before, and so I was removing it from windowed mode, but if you press ALT... Then it fucking switches- Oh, god damn it, dude. Now my map is fucked up. God. I hate this mission! I hate it! Let's just be patient. They'll figure it out. 
And now they're killing no one. How they kill no one? They are doing so much worse than they normally do. There's just so many right there. I want to try and shoot them. Yeah, that's just him saying he needs attention, not that he's taking a lot of damage. Okay, one grenade's fine. One grenade is safe. So how much do I want to help here? Kill him. Thank you. He didn't die? Finally. He just ran into the fucking thing. Ah, so dumb. I shot way too long there. Trevor is really far up, but Lamar is not. It's very strange. It feels as though I'm too far back. I've done. I've this. This just reminds me of back in the day when I used to do sniper strats. And you think they won't shoot you. Like, I should be far enough away that they can't shoot me. But it's like, do you want to take the risk? You know? Well, Trevor's not flashing red. I think I should just let it play it out. Play it out. Ah, oh, he's so juicy out of cover, man. He just, I just, I could just kill him so quickly. There's one last guy. I have no idea where he is, but he's right next to Trevor. Looks like everyone's dead. Everyone's not speaking, so... So there's a very, very tiny chance that the cops lock onto me and could potentially fire at me again. So what I do is I blow up Lamar's jet ski in the next scene to uh, despawn them all. So you wait until Lamar gets far enough distant from me. Kill Lamar. So I respawn, there's no cops. Oh. He got them both. That was good. And now the really, 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 really scary part. That was actually really, really smooth. And now it's just up to what the helicopter spawns look like as to how easy this is going to be for me. So don't spawn a helicopter game. Don't do it. Okay. See, everything looks so peaceful, calm, and clear. It only takes one nanosecond for the game to be a complete dick. Okay. Oh, so I, I'm so happy that mission's over. I, I hate that mission so much. Uh, the surface is faster when you have no waves. It's probably not faster on, on this patch. Fine, we'll go underwater then. Go from 140 FPS to 70 FPS. Oh, yeah. So, Blitz Play and Meriwether Heist. Next two missions of concern. Ooh, a tow truck. That will save me a little bit of time. As long as there is a garbage truck around here as well. Uh, I do not see a garbage truck. The lack of garbage truck sure is garbage. Ha, ha, ha. You see what I was doing with the... Uh, yeah, you, you saw. You saw. I swear that is the first time I've made that joke. There we go. Don't. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. Elberta! Asshole. Like, realistically, I was miles from being hit there. Leagues and miles, but it feels really close when you only have one HP, <laughs> you know. Am I a full-time streamer? No, I am a full-time douchebag. I didn't even say the word right. What a douchebag thing to say. Yes, I'm a full-time streamer, you fucking high god damn it. So with the new strats, Meriwether Highest should not be a huge concern. This car pulls out, pulls out very quickly. Um...
still didn't look very comfortable. So this first part, obviously, is just completely trivial because uh, I can just kill everyone with Franklin. And they, of course, can't shoot me back or anything like that. So the first phase just basically doesn't matter. This would be a lot more stressful without the uh, heat scope, though, because then I have to be counting how many guys I'm killing. What? We lived. He was supposed to die. Rude. So the strats here are basically, I ignore the first two guys. So, okay, basically, anyone who is behind, like, here, is so far away they can't shoot me. So I ignore anyone behind that line and prioritize everyone else. But I also prioritize shooting the people in the backs of cars rather than the fronts. Which is harder than you might think. Because I don't want to shoot the driver. It is hard to intentionally not shoot a driver. Because if I shoot the driver, they stop and they're closer to me and they can shoot me. So I don't know if this guy matters. That's perfect. Now nothing matters. I mean, I suppose if I don't kill this helicopter, but when has that ever happened, you know? Okay, well, yeah, yeah, kill it one shot, man, okay. Um, none of the guys here can hit me. They're too far away. So they, it may look like they're firing for dear life at me, but now they can't hit me. The strats make this so much easier. I'm doing the exact same thing I've always done, but with a bit of knowledge about how the mission operates, uh, I, I basically have to be really bad to fail. Matt, think of all the Meriwether people you've killed. Now think about how their families feel. I'm sure they're like, oh my god. The honor to be killed by Dark Viper AU. Wow, what a way to go. Thank you. They were a jerk anyway. Yeah, save again for the hell of it. And let's go. Am I nervous? Yes. The mines don't always seem to get them sufficiently. I think maybe changing to Trevor makes them less effective or something because of my distance. I'm not really sure. It's still better to change as soon as possible. Please let me get one. Got one. <sighs> Moving while shooting. Oh, what? Oh no. A couple got out. That's really bad. Um, I don't know what to do now. Okay, got, got two of them. So uh, one is over there that I didn't get. He seems to be coming to me too, so I should be able to get him too. Got him too. Okay, good. Okay. Saved it. Saved it. Not sure what happened with that rocket I fired. No one's climbing up to me thus far, which is good. So now I need a certain amount to die so the helicopter spawns. Okay, got it. Perfect. Um, so now Franklin and Michael can kill people themselves after the helicopter dies. So I don't really need to help here. It does take them a while though. And these guys should be so far away they can't hit me. So there are actually three. One's in that room, one's at the front there. I can't get the one at the front there. I'm gonna have to use old strat. That's annoying. It forces me to switch. You can't ult strat the entire game. There are, there are maybe like 2% of the game ult strat has value. Okay. And another one bites the dust. 
I'm nervous, chat. The second half of the game is harder. It is. I called a cab, right? Where's my cab? Oh. About bloody time. There's something about Devon's house there that the taxis just can't figure out. Are you a Lennon fan? Uh, isn't one of, your, one of the Beatles? Oh, he was a Beatle? Did he get better? This is a reference to Monty Python. If no one got that, I mean, it's a vague reference. A newt? I got better. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Has Rocco ever hit me? I don't think so. No! You're about to... He doesn't seem to like swinging early like uh, Simeon does. Still a little bit scary though. All right, spray tan. Just hold, hold on. Have I seen the Star Wars theory thing? There are many Star Wars theory channels. <laughs> what, a wonderful... what a wonderful surprise! Ha <laughs> ha! Love how he does that shit. Am I a Yakuza fan? Sunaoni, I love you. Toto Keyoki, do you love me? Do I like Matt Pat? No. He still owes me 15 bucks. <laughs> I'm never gonna get tired of that joke. What are people buying? Where they're always borrowing 15 bucks off me, man. <laughs> I've never met Matt Pat. I don't know anything about him. All I know is that he made like a bajillion FNAF videos. See, I know what FNAF is now, guys. It's Friday nights at Freddy's. See? Knowledge. Muscle memory? My guy. My dude. My homie. Everything in this game is fucking random. You can't have muscle memory for each individual scene. You can have muscle memory for how to respond to different things. The cars aren't all in the same places. You always need to be watching. Did you miss when a cougar came out of nowhere and killed me that one time? You can't muscle memory that shit. Okay, let's go steal ourselves a car. You disingenuous, dense hey, motherfucker. Obviously you have to know I am meant to be here. I can't help but feel like I've forgotten something. Flash to my son left at his soccer game. I don't have a son, chat. Maybe I've forgotten that I have a son, and therefore, then I forgot that he was at a soccer game. <laughs> Let's go. A lot of alt strat time. Yeah. Fun for the whole family. This is this guy's fate in every run, just to be hit by this car. Probably doesn't feel very good. So I'm going to try to slow down a bit here so I can get this turn. Turn out to the right a little bit. Left. Good. Good. Now this is pod racing. Is he going to get out of the way in time? Maybe. Oh, is he going to make it? Oh, he's just, oh, no, it's just his leg up. Oh, but oh. Too bad, dude. Maybe next time. Hopefully there is no next time. Shoot. Beautiful. B E A U T F O. Is this a kidnapping? It is not a kidnapping. This is a challenge run. I need to get the fuck out of here. Get get out of the car. Bye bye. Hey Devin. <laughs> so this run is act. Th this mission side. This mission is actually scary. Uh, minor turbulence. I have lost some runs here. One thing I'm getting is my um, what's it called? An MG. It's a bigger weapon. Blocks my hands and uh, gives me more bullets. The basic strategy here is when you're in cover and holding a gun, you can point your head up and it gives you a dot. And then when you click, you shoot exactly on that dot. But as you see, 
when doing this, I kind of move sometimes. See how it moved me this at the end here? And that's kind of the concern, that while aiming like this, if I aim in the wrong way, it'll push me to the edge, and I'll, I'll get my hand clipped or something, you know? Ah, oh, I'm so nervous. I hate this mission. I feel so powerless, because I can't just take my time with it, right? Because the enemies approach me. So I do need to use ult strat here just to the end. It's like a one in a million shot that I actually get hit while flying the plane, but it's enough. But doing this with ult strat is really hard. Oh, not this song. This song, I die when this song plays. So many clips have this song playing when I fail. I'm deleting this song! I- I shit you not! 90% of the fucking times I failed in life is that it's fucking song! <laughs> I have 50 hours of music and it's always this fucking song! The first shots? The very first! Give me the clip! Give me the clip! Look how little of me there is to be shot. My hand is behind that and it does block bullets. Is that into my head? Is it perfectly under my gun into like the pixel of my head that's showing? Is that what happened? That is disgusting. Do you see how much of a gap there is that I, I wanna see in replay how long it takes him. Let's just, let's just watch this out. Maybe we can, maybe this can be a learning experience. He will fire. Like, I, I do have to shoot him. But if I had popped out my head there to aim, he would have hit me. I don't think there's anything I could have done there. Well, I start over, not today. We'll start over tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing and I wish you all the best.